morning, everyone! Liam Carlson here with another episode of The Originals. Um, it is episode number eight of this season. Um, so, yeah, excited to see how things are going to go down with uh, Tyler, who, um, you know, came from Mystic Falls, well, ish, because it is a bit of a complicated journey there. But, of course, he came from The Vampire Diaries and crossed over into The Original in uh, the hopes to uh, get back at Klaus, really. Of course, there's uh, no love lost between the pair of them. Um, so, yeah, and in the end, we found him approaching Marcel. So that's going to be very, very interesting, especially with now the knowledge that is there in regards to Marcel. Um, finding out about Haley and her pregnancy. So, yeah, um, I'm looking forward, though, to getting into this episode. Um, the Originals has just been an absolute blast for this first season thus far. So why don't we get into this episode of The Originals? It's episode number eight of the season. Let's go. So will you hear my confession or not? I'm going back down that long road. Yeah, got it, Bless got me, it. Father, for I have sinned. Ooh, interesting. I am a liar. Rebecca, like a betrayer. Tri yeah, confessing. I have conspired against me. Poppycock. I would never bite you. What, like you? Uh, so what? You know, what's the difference? About my intentions towards my child. He deserves a day or two of discomfort. Just you know, to keep him. Um. Just, just, just keep his mouth shut. Give me, please. It's okay. Remind me to annihilate your brother once you're healthy. Yes, remind me to remind you to get in line. <laughs> Doesn't help that we decided to. There's a long line. The of us. I'm not leaving you like this. <laughs> oh no. Leave well enough alone. Oh, there's the mark. What the hell is this? Just listen. Uh, there's gonna be when some Klaus people skeptical. He figured out a way to turn four wolves into you creatures know, like him. You're looking at one of them. Someone pregnant. On the plus side, we. She's here to help us. Uh, oh no! Oh no! That's right. But fast. Oh shit! <laughs> that is enough talk about harming that. Yeah, baby. we're not harming the kid. I mean, Tyler's so hell bent. Uh, you know what? Let's just add insult to injury. But Klaus, fine enough. You are the architect of your own unhappiness. I don't remember asking for your advice. Oh really? So of all the people in New Orleans, you choose someone with a master's in psychology to record your life story. You're over a thousand years old, pretty damn sure you know how to type. <laughs> the truth is, you compel me to come here because you have no one else to talk to and you want to be Oh, understood. dab! Then you compel me to forget everything as soon as I leave your presence because you're too scared to trust. I'm scared. Oh, shit, she got it! It's an ancient mystical plot I'm using to destroy you. <laughs> Relax, it's a tattoo design. Go on your own time. This is my time. You steal it. You're not getting second thoughts now, are you? No, these aren't second thoughts. Just uncertainty. Of regret. Oh. I should have buried him a hundred years ago. She's just had a limit with Klaus. <laughs> oh no. Oh, is he gonna? I see where this might be going. Oh. Tell him you searched high and low, but you couldn't find the dagger. Oh God, I'm so dead. Then you tell him you saw I had it like, on just me. just hey, on both to, sides to here, which, which won't be easy. Bullshitting Marcel, and I beefed up my posse. playing to Klaus's game. All right, so Marcel will be. When I run New Orleans, there will be a permanent daylight ring in it for you, Joshua. Oh, the nice. Service is rendered unto your true king. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I don't think you've got much. Adios, Klaus. Oh! Oh! If the vampires and witch hexes were involved, she will dig and dig and dig until she digs too deep and gets herself killed. 
But it's all gonna unru- Yeah, it's all- Get Cammy out of here! Yeah. Or there is the innocent victim who could have been spared if they had just- That could be Cammy. Please convince her to walk away from New Orleans. Ooh, the care there from Klaus. Or I will be forced to compel her to go. He doesn't want to resort to that option, but... He's not gonna see Cammy die. Besides, he only ever listens to you. Yes. He's so Elijah and Celeste had... He... Oh my... Oh. <laughs> spanking of some kind is in order. I think I should need some rehearsal. Oh my god. Information about your family, not to play nursemaid to a vampire with a temperature, please. Find her, learn what you can. I see you. But no. Elijah's still there. You stay. Yeah. She can't she can't just leave Elijah to contend with these uh, illusions on his own. Take you down. How does it feel? Great. Look at him, just enjoying this shit. Oh, this should be fun. With this? No. But I think I can with this. Here comes, uh, yeah, here comes the rest of the cavalry. That's in the quarter. You trip over one every step you take. Oh, he was not taking that shit. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you guys don't want to stay around for this brotherly drama. You care about her. Well, that is unfortunate. Oh, no. I hear they're rounding up the town's witches as we speak. Oh, shit. Oh, there she is. Mystery person! Hi! Hello to you too. Awfully long time. How long do you think Marcel will stay? How many in seconds power? in eternity? What if one of you lot? Oh my god! <laughs> this is sick! This is going to be a massacre, but not in... Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the moment. Yeah, yeah, that moment. I, that's what I was waiting for. That moment. Shit, sir. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't... I wouldn't... Surprise him! There. I hereby pledge my allegiance to you. Oh. You have the keys to my kingdom. Oh. It's yours. Damn it! Holy shit! For everybody. Please. I'm Cammy. sure you got questions. Only a thousand of them. I'm, I'm, like, who are I you? don't want Why her to be compelled me? to leave. Swap nature around, inside out. Made it so their natural state was wolves. They only turn back human on the full moon. They reverse they get who she the saw. Carry. That I had the sharp and lingering sensation in my back. Look, things got a bit ugly, okay? I you thought that Haley was Klaus. But I'll be back, okay? I need to know more. Keep that mark covered up. Holy shit. So someone really did a reversal in terms of state. But that wolf that Haley saw the other episode. Let's make one thing clear. You'll never have this. The masses. Loyalty. Yeah. You can't buy it. You can't own it. You can't force it. It comes only out of love and respect. And that's for what the he's been trying to do. Oh, me. Oh, is she really gonna like open herself up to heartbreak? Jeez.
Oh shit. It's a cruel and bloody time to be a witch. Courtesy of my wonderful brother. Yeah, just going back to the little shoot. She died shoot because thing. of Clara. Ask my brother salvation. If I surrender this, then tell me what value would I be to him? my family, to myself, oh. too. This is very important for yeah, him. Can't give up on Klaus, no matter what. No matter the hurt. Child, my blood will grow up to call you father. Oh. Oh my so god, this is weird you are family. Once again, worried that you will be left behind. Has history taught you nothing? We don't abandon you. Nick, you drive us away. He need he does need to argue with himself in the mirror. You two could have chosen to stand by me, to believe in me. I believe my intentions for my own child were pure. That's it though, but people are worried. To stand against me. About Decide where Klaus is going. With you. you can stay here together. You just and rot. Those men. Marcel. Oh heck. I know both of them. Yeah. Getting more and more. Do oh. That's it, though. Like, I mean, I don't think. I don't think. Um, yeah, I, I, I definitely don't think that she's going to die anytime soon. So, yeah. It was really, really interesting, though. Like that—that that was um, uh, that was a uh, that was an attempt to try and send a message to herself. So, yeah. Um, but again, I just don't think that. Um, I don't like. She's not leaving, and yeah. But I don't think she's going to die anytime soon. There is, of course, this worry that she's going to get herself killed if she just sticks around. But, yeah. So. Yeah. But. That was really, really rough with uh, Klaus. And, like I said. Well, I mean, it seems like he does have the keys to the. Uh, to the kingdom, I guess. But. Uh, yeah. Um. It, it it comes at the expense of you know him just feeling like no matter what he does he's never going to uh, get garner the support of his siblings. I mean it has been rough these past thousand years really in terms of um in terms of finding a reason to side with him. And whereas I obviously believe, uh, and I'm sure most of you believe that his intentions for his kid is pure and all of that, and he's not planning any nefariousness um, there. Again, it's just so, so hard to fathom. And he just keeps hurting, and that's what you just kind of expect, really, which is tragic. I think there's one thing you, you've got to admire about Cammy is... Um, how smart her character seems to be with, um, I mean, not just, of course, you know, psychologically speaking in terms of, um, calling out Klaus at the beginning of this episode, um, with, you know, how she, um, especially with Klaus and how scary his attitude can be, she was very, very bold in terms of calling him out for, you know, repeating the same self-destructing cycle over and over and over again. Um, and that's it, though. Like, there's been all this talk about, you know, Klaus, um, like, with Marcel and, you know, how he had a spot for Klaus. Like, the only person he would be arguing with was would be himself. He needs to argue with himself, to be fair, because of the fact that um, it's just not clicking with him. So he needs that moment where, you know, you've got 
a, a version of Klaus that is so benevolent, etc. Um, reminding, uh, just trying to get the message in his head that, like, you're doing this damage to yourself and all of that because uh, you have that, you know, moment with uh, Rebecca and Elijah at the end. So, yeah. Um... So, yeah, but again, that wasn't just the only bit of smarts that I liked from Kemi in this episode, but uh, of course, the ending of the last episode, seemingly she's going to be breaking free from that compulsion, really, when it when it comes to um, seeing that picture from ni uh, from 1919. Um, well, it's not just of uh, Klaus, it's of uh, Marcel as well. So, um, yeah, but... Um, yeah, it was it was very very great stuff, and uh, I really uh, thought that it was um, great that we have Cami that um, who is able to um, you know not just to do that letter, but like I said, f uh, try to find a way through really. So um, yeah, but it was really great stuff this episode. Um, and, you know, I felt like there was a nice continuation in regards to um, what happened in the last episode where, you know, uh, Klaus was giving this spiel about, um, you know, uh, how people perceived him and, and his plans for the baby. Um, yeah, I mean, I thought we were going to have one of the siblings be... I mean, to be fair, it wouldn't make sense if the other sibling was still standing because he only has enough for one um, dagger. So I, I was wondering, is he going to somehow stab... Like, I, even even so, he could have just done it for pettiness sake. Like, um, because, you know, that dagger to the heart is not really going to be a pleasant experience. So even if, you know, you'd be undaggered five seconds later, I thought it would have just been for Betty's sake. But at the end of the day, he didn't stab Rebecca or Elijah. So, yeah. Um... But I feel like it was a great move to make, really, because um, that is expected of him. I think Rebecca and Elijah both kind of expected he would go there, but uh, he didn't. And he and he does need to... Um, I think he does need to distance himself. That loneliness needs to be a reminder of what um, who he is and what he could lose, etc. So, yeah, and... He he no he, he doesn't only need time away from his siblings, but he also needs time alone, um, like a reality check that you know you you have to learn the hard way in order to have any kind of good grace with Elijah with Rebecca because they're so used to disappointment. So yeah, and. You can't expect them to, um, you know, bend over for Klaus, etc. So, yeah. I can see why Rebecca and Elijah um, reacted the way they did. I mean, yeah, for Klaus, it's going to be very upsetting. But Klaus has always been someone to... Like, he hasn't proven them wrong whatsoever in terms of their worries about what Klaus is going to do. Um... And they want deep down they want Klaus to be on the on on you know, they want to support Klaus, etc. But by daggering by by killing loved ones, by suppressing um Rebecca and Elijah from pursuing their happiness, daggering them, etc. etc., they are not gonna be absolutely, you know, a hundred percent on Klaus's side. Um because it's it's it, it it is like that whole uh, I guess meme I guess I, I I'm I was um, I'm not disappointed uh, really my expectations were low basically I'm not disappointed uh, because that's it though they have low expectations because of how Klaus just keeps proving them right um, because of his because uh, uh, that pattern just continues it's what you know. Uh, it, it, it's what Cammy um, said in regards to the beginning about the fact that he keeps being on this same self-destructive cycle. And that's it, though. Um, he expects his siblings to stand by him, but there needs to be a reason for this for his siblings to stand by him. And you can't just keep hurting them and expect them to fall in line. 
So, of course, they're going to be worried about what plans might happen with the baby. Of course, they're going to worry about Klaus's ra uh, reckless actions, etc. Because there has been no reason for, like, even if you hear it firsthand about, well, Klaus might use the baby to make more hybrids. I mean, that is something that people wouldn't be surprised at. Uh, like, Elijah and Rebecca wouldn't be surprised at because of the fact that, that if it's his MO and he, he hasn't really changed things up a bit. So, um, but for Klaus, there, like, it, it is like, you're not giving me the benefit of the doubt in his perspective. That's what he's seeing, I, I, I sense, when it comes to the arguments with Rebecca and Elijah. You're not seeing the benefits of the doubt, so I, it's pointless, because you're not going to, you're not going to, you're not going to, um, have faith in me, so it's just like talking to a bloody brick wall, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, um, and... Whilst we are seeing these emotions pour out, of course there are still it's it's still a ways to go in terms of Klaus uh, growing and all of that. So, um, yeah, I mean, cause that's it though. His intentions and everything, it's all genuine. Um, so, of course, with him going through that growth, it's all little steps and all of that, and. Um, I feel like with Klaus, there is a bit of a fast-forward button he is on, because he is showing those good intent. He is trying to, or pure intent, should I say. He is trying to be, um, uh, he, he is trying to be a, a bit different. But, of course, it's not going to be enough. You've got to keep working for it. You can't just expect things to just turn around just like that. So, um, yeah, I mean, he is uh, having that growth. But it's going to take some time. So, um, yeah. And, of course, I'm not going to blame um, Elijah and Rebecca for being very, very ca uh, cautious. So, I mean, it's going to hurt like, like, a, like a mother for Klaus, but it's... It, the, the, you know, this journey requires steps and all of that, and that's what Klaus has got to go through. So, it you know, it, it will take some time, um, but in the end, it will be worth it. But at the moment, Klaus is, like, um, feeling like there is no... It, it is like a losing battle in his mind, but, um, yeah, so... Not gonna lie, though, because um, I don't think the dagger would be able to do anything to Klaus, right? But I was kind of expecting some way of putting Klaus out of commission, maybe, for 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 an episode or two. I know it sounds like a very, very risky and massive move to make when you've just started out the originals. But all of this, like, like you had the beginning with uh, Rebecca, um, you had the fight uh, or the ambush that they tried on Klaus until Klaus... I absolutely slaughtered them all, and and it got Marcel to to kneel. Um, even Marcel's comments about ah, I've got a spot for him, and and you know there was that confrontation with Elijah and Rebecca to Klaus. I was low key thinking they were going to put Klaus out of commission somehow for an episode or two, and maybe this might give Klaus some kind of um, thinking because of course there's also the situation with Klaus. Um, putting Elijah through that, like, really, really sad scenario, which we'll get into in a moment. But I don't know, there was something ticking in my brain, thinking, is there going to be some reason, is there going to be some way that we're going to, like, bench Klaus for an episode or two? Um, so, because, of course, we're not going to kill him. Um, especially this early on. But, um, yeah, I mean... It would be a very, very interesting thing to do and all of that. And it can give certain characters this moment of feeling, you know, they like they don't have that ominous dark cloud hovering above their head. So, yeah, but it is just very, very uh, it is just very, very interesting, this whole situation, because, like I said, it's not just Rebecca and uh, Elijah that are 
completely faithless when it comes to Klaus, and that's obviously a gut punch. I, uh, but to be fair, and I feel like this conversation may have had a tiny bit of influence, potentially. But of course, you could think back to uh, Marcel and um, how he really, really gave him the talk about that loyalty. Um, and how Marcel and Klaus differ because of the fact that people like with with Marcel he did show um, he did show that kind of respect that loyalty that um, factor of well look as long as you you know do right and all of that you have no there's no reason to worry I mean yeah um, I, I, as long as you don't you know try to brutus me or whatever as long as you know, you want to be on my good graces, etc. Uh, I'm happy with you. So, uh, and that's it though. Marcel, um, you know, he has a lot of, he had that loyalty really. Um, and he even said that loyalty is something that is going to be earned. And that plays in relation, of course, to Elijah and Rebecca, because that is it, though. It's the same thing that happens here. You can't just expect, like, a small step or whatever to be the be-all, end-all. It has to be worked on. And that's what Marcel did. He had to work on that. It must be earned. So, um... And, you know, with this kingdom that Klaus can have, it's based on fear. Like, there is, like, this worry if you... If you breathe wrong, you die or you you suffer his wrath, etc. So, um, and Marcel is not that kind of person. So, um, yeah. But uh, yeah, it was it was a really really amazing fight, though. I'm not gonna lie, though. Seeing Klaus, like he was chained up, and I'm like, yeah, this is gonna turn real real ugly real quick. So, yeah. Um, yeah. And the fact that, you know, it got enough, like, he went really, really extreme, did Klaus, and, you know, Marcel had to pick up that coin, because they were dropping, like, no one had a chance. So, yeah. Um, but, again, there's that whole situation of, um, like I said, with Marcel, you know, this kingdom you have, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta work for it, um, in terms of loyalty and all of that, because otherwise your whole shtick that you have right now, that is not going, like, that is definitely not going to fly well, like, especially, you know, there might be the case where someone might be bold enough to try and assassinate you, for example, so, yeah. Um... But yeah, um, I want to flip on the other side of things with Haley and I guess Elijah, because of course, uh, Elijah, we saw have those hallucinations and all of that. Um, and, you know, he was thinking about Celeste and how Klaus had, uh, well, there was that whole situation where Klaus, um, w with the fact that Elijah let slip and all of that. Um, he feels that burden. He feels responsible for Celeste's death. Um, so, yeah. Um, because of the fact that there was so much, there was, uh, so much talk. Um, yeah. Uh, he, 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 with Elijah, he was vulnerable and he feels absolutely selfish for being vulnerable and that is really really heartbreaking and so was of course the moment where he discovered celeste's body um so um and because of his vulnerability um he feels like he caused celeste to die so um all all because he 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 let he like i said he was vulnerable he didn't watch close enough and uh yeah so um, and it was just a really, really heartbreaking moment, so, um, and I did feel like there was going to be a moment where, of course, he would envision Haley and Celeste as one, as one person, so, uh, just because we're pushing the thing with, with Haley and, uh, and Elijah, but it took a really, really, um, heartbreaking turn, really, because of the fact that you see... Elijah's relationship with Celeste and how that ended 
and he doesn't want to be heartbroken again, especially if he's if if Haley is carrying Klaus's kid. So, but there is that want I would say between the between the pair, and it's just heartbreaking. So, just truly truly devastating so yeah but um yeah we also got a bit more about Haley and um eve um so yeah being a part of i guess Haley's family and all of that so but also there was that moment where she talked about how some of the uh, some people who managed to get away um uh from you know marcel's uh, quabbles with them i guess or yeah quarrels Wobbles? That even a word? It is now. Um, but yeah, um, those who managed to not, you know, die and all of that, um, they had a little bit of a switcheroo going on in regards to how things usually work when it comes to a werewolf. Obviously, we know full moon werewolf time, but it was like, okay, for the majority of the time, they are forced to live as wolves. So that is a very interesting uh, concept, I would say. Uh, when it comes to, um, you know, sometimes there are moments with, uh, like, where, where you have that moment where you're fully uh, wolved up and all of that. And those few moments, um, I guess, with every full moon that appears, you, you appear as a human. It's a very interesting concept. Um, but it also pays into the relation to who Haley saw the other episode remember that wolf um and there was that kind of stare off and all of that and i think i did speculate the possibility that the wolf could be associated to Haley's family and it seems like that might be the case if um if um it all lines up well so yeah but because uh, i'm not sure if, I, I, I think that was a full moon that night i'm not sure but um i don't i don't know i don't know but uh uh, it, it was it was a really really great um it was really really great stuff uh to learn out a bit more in regards to eve and um yeah with with marcel having beef with uh that family in particular so um you know there's more pressure on Haley with the fact that you know with tyler uh he talked to marcel about Haley, um and now you know we've gotten a bit more about uh that beef with Haley's family so or uh, yeah so yeah but um yeah great stuff this episode will be exciting to see things flesh out further when it comes to uh uh when it comes to obviously cami finding out about um klaus and marcel so yeah but uh great stuff this episode so yeah i'll see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed this reaction you check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to hope you guys enjoyed this reaction hope you guys take care and i will see you guys next time toodles